Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Gastromania. Today, I'll be presenting a dish that is unique to Singapore and Malaysia, Kampyong Chicken or Kan Siang Si. The ingredients used is a mixture of Indian and Chinese, so it's unique to this area of the world. Crispy fried chicken infused with a strong aroma of herbs and spices, and umami seafoody taste. Let's get right into this recipe. First, we have to season the chicken. We are using one whole chicken that weighs about 1.2 kilograms. Season it with about 2 tablespoon meat curry powder. One teaspoon white sugar. One teaspoon turmeric powder. 3 tablespoons light soy sauce for umami saltiness. Three tablespoons of oyster sauce for seafoody sweetness. One fresh egg to create the batter later on. Mix the seasonings evenly with your hands, but make sure to wash your hands thoroughly before this. Clean wrap the seasoned chicken and let it marinate in the fridge for at least 2 hours. Next, let's take a look at the essential ingredients. First, we have 5 to 6 sprigs of curry leaves which give this dish its unique taste. 2 stalks of lemongrass for fragrance. About 7 cloves of garlic as aromatics. About 5 shallots as well for aromatics. About 5 pieces of dried chilies. Make sure to rehydrate it and de-seed them by cutting both ends of the dried chili. If you like spicy food like me, you can also add 2 bird's eye chilies to give the sauce an extra kick. Cut up the ingredients and pound the lemongrass. Last but not least, the special ingredient, 30 grams of dried shrimps. Soak them in water for about 30 minutes beforehand to soften them. Chop up the dried shrimps and keep the soaking liquid. After the chicken is marinated, add about 2 tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix it evenly into the marinade to thicken it up. Afterwards, mix about 1 teaspoon of salt into approximately 4 tablespoons of cornstarch to create the batter. Coat the chicken in the cornstarch. I prefer using my hand so that I can press firmly onto the chicken and ensure that the cornstarch is stuck firmly. And with that, let's head over to the stove. Make sure that the oil is hot enough by adding a small piece of batter. If it floats up in 3 seconds, the oil is hot enough. Add in the chicken pieces and fry at high heat. It is advisable to split the chicken into two batches so that the wok will not be overcrowded. If all the chicken goes in together, the oil temperature will drop very fast and cause uneven cooking. Fry the chicken until golden brown and the bubble size becomes small. You can also double fry it if you want. Repeat for the second batch of chicken. Set the fried chicken aside for later use. Afterwards, we start preparing the sauce. Use new vegetable oil and fry the dried shrimps until fragrant. It's normal for a lot of bubbles to form, do not worry. Add the garlic into the wok and fry for about 30 seconds. Then, add the shallots and fry them both until fragrant.
After about 1 minute, add the chilies and fry for about 1 minute. Then, add the lemongrass and curry leaves and fry for about 1 minute as well. Add the water used to soak the dried shrimps and let it reach a boil. Then, add 1 tablespoon gula malaka or palm sugar. You can also use brown sugar if palm sugar is not readily available. Add about 3 tablespoons of oyster sauce and let the sauce reduce. Once the sauce is reduced enough, add in the fried chicken and mix well. It will help if you are able to toss the chicken in the wok for faster and more even mixing. And our Kamyong chicken is complete! Garnish the dish with fresh curry leaves to make it more appetizing. Wow, the chicken looks really crispy and it smells heavenly. Try the recipe today! And we have come to the end of today's episode. If you like the recipe, do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel for more weekly recipes. Follow us on our socials to keep updated on the latest activities. And I'll catch you in my next video.